What if you could appoint your friends to a commission and have them recommend a 117% pay raise for you, over a 50% pay raise for your coworkers, and better yet, get the taxpayers to pay for everything? I'm standing here in the city of Vancouver in Washington State, and that's exactly what's happened here. The city of Vancouver is the fourth largest city in Washington State, located on the bank of the Columbia River, across the river from Portland, Oregon. Vancouver has a population of over 170,000 people and has a part-time council and mayor form of government. The city form of government is structured so that most of the day-to-day -day work is done by the city manager, who makes $210,000 plus benefits a year. However, the mayor and the city council do appoint the people who sit on the Salary Review Commission, and this allowed them to fill the five-person commission with at least three people who thought they needed a pay raise. Not a 3% pay raise like they gave the city employees, but a pay raise of 117% for the part-time mayor position and a 50% pay raise for most of the city council members. And these guys are supposed to be public servants? To make matters worse, the self-dealing crony structure of the Salary Commission means that the pay recommendation automatically becomes law without even a vote needed from the City Council. The Council can only actively repeal the pay raise or it happens automatically. Mayor Levitt actively defended the pay raise. I believe that they deemed uh, an appropriate value to the time and effort necessary to serve as Mayor and Council. So understandably, people were upset, and many citizens were angry. So including two former mayors, many citizens got together and they led a petition drive and collected over 4,000 signatures to demand that this pay raise be put on the ballot so that they could have a decision in this process. The citizen drive was certified a few weeks ago within the 30-day window allowed by statute, and they had plenty of signatures to spare. Thanks to this demonstration of civic engagement, the Vancouver City Council decided to reject the massive pay raise and send it back to the Salary Review Commission. Originally, Mayor Levitt was quoted as telling the citizens who wanted to gather the signatures, best of luck. In the end though, it wasn't luck that collected the signatures, but hard, time-consuming work. One comment made by many citizens collecting these signatures was they wanted their politicians to remain public servants and not see political office as a career path. This highlights the challenges we face in an ever-growing government. Do we want a government that is run by people who give themselves pay raises, feel they're not accountable to the citizens, and who see their actions not as public service, but as a career? Ultimately, this is more than a story about the city of Vancouver and self-dealing. Stories like this are happening all around the United States. They're probably happening where you live. It's our civic duty as citizens to get involved and find out what's happening in our local government. That's what we the people means. If we don't start doing that, we're just gonna to continue to live like we the governed.